Right, so let's put an, um, an object in here for the ocean. I'm going to use a plane. I'm going to make sure it's the same size uh, today for this example uh, as the terrain object here. And I'm going to center it to the scene. And I'm going to use a, a library material for the ocean. And I found this on an excellent thread on the uh, V-Ray forums. Um, and I've saved the thread address. If you go to File, Properties, Summary Info, I've saved a web address there for you so you can find out more about this material. And it's by a chap called Rob and it's a really good material. There's no point me really um, reinventing the wheel and it goes into such great detail there. I'd, I'd advise you to go and have a look at that. Um, so I've saved that material for you in the project folder. So I'll uh, choose Get Material and we'll open the material library and it's in my project folder house by the sea v-ray ocean material uh, and let's just choose that um, give this a name sea or well, i should call it ocean i suppose so it matches up ocean uh, apply the ocean material to it and uh, we'll do a quick, uh, quick render so you can see what that's doing. Um, no renders are quick on this computer actually at home, but we'll we'll let the um, light cache build through so you'll see um, you'll get an idea of what the material's doing. Uh, there we go. So without it doing a full render. Uh, you can see it's um, like a, a nice tropical blue, and it's quite it's quite dark at the um, at the where it's deep here, and it it, it goes lighter at the end there. Uh, but what I'd like it to do, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to add some foam uh, around the edge of the beach where it hits the sand, and uh, around these rocks here. So we'll open up the material editor. I'm going to bring up our navigator as well. Uh, and instead of uh, here on V-Ray material, we're going to click it and we're going to choose a V-Ray blend material. And we're going to keep the old material as a sub-material and it will put it on as the base material here. And we're going to add another very simple uh, V-Ray white material. Uh, and I am going to make this um, uh, full white. Uh, but that's all we need to do there. Um, most of this uh, th this white material is going to be uh, blended on top of the, or layered on top of the ocean material. Um, instead of using instead of using a color here, we're going to use a map. Uh, we're going to use a gradient ramp. And let's go down and see what this is doing. Let's you see I've got the um, the show end result toggle off there. Um, also, if you can't see the, uh, we're going to look at some noise maps, and they don't always show up very nicely in, in these slots here, but you, due to size issues. But uh, I've got my default texture size here set to 10 meters, so we should be able to see any noises and things that we're applying here. So. This is going to describe this gradient from black to white. It's going to describe um, uh, at this point here at the far left uh, position zero. It's going to be where I want some dense foam. And then there'll be we're going to add another tag in. We can use this one here uh, at about there, and that's going to change it from a dense foam down to a less dense foam here. And then we're going to add another tag in, perhaps there. And this is going to be, there's going to be, it's going to grade down from uh, less dense foam to absolutely no foam at all here. And then over here, there's going to be uh, no foam at uh, no foam at all. So we, we, we need to put this space in here. You'll see why when we, uh, you'll see why in a minute or two. Right, so in the first um, flag here, we're going to right click it. I'm going to go to edit properties. And instead of a color, I'm going to put a texture in. And I'm going to choose a noise texture here. Um, now, uh, 
um, the first color I want to choose is uh, I want this actually I'm going to make that zero and the top color color one I don't want it to be um, full black I want it to be um, sort of a gray color uh, 100 for example I want to alter the size well let's start at the top I want, the, I want it to be a turbulence uh, noise I want 10 levels on there. Uh, I want to make it um, a, a little uh, a little denser than that. Oh, sorry, a little less dense than that here. Uh, and I'm going to change the size here uh, to 0 0.4. Um, and I think maybe perhaps I'm being fussy, but I can see it's um, it's quite square on here, and it's going to be applied to a, to a scene which, which is square as well. Basically, it's aligned with x and y. So I'm just going to I'm just going to change this um, rotation value here, just to try and disguise that a little bit. Just put 20 in there. Uh, right, right click on noise up here and uh, copy it. Hang on, let's cancel this. Let's give this a name. Foam dense. Let's copy it, and then we'll go back to our gradient. Uh, sorry, back to our gradient ramp here. We'll click on the next flag, uh, right click on it actually and go to edit properties and we'll paste that map in there. We're going to paste it as a copy because we're going to alter it. Uh, and we'll call this one just foam. I'm just going to change the size a little. I'm going to change that to 0.5, and I'm going to um, lower the uh, high threshold to 0.2. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see what that's doing. So that's the less dense foam map, uh, and then that's it in that slot in the gradient ramp. And you can see over on the left we've got the the uh, denser foam map here, uh, which we can uh, click on. If we use the map navigator here, actually, we'll just pop that there. So the first flag is the dense foam, and then the next flag is the uh, the less dense foam. And to show those in the gradient ramp, and there we go. Now this needs to be fading to black, so we have to change that in the. Uh, oops, I'm sorry pressing too many things here. We need to change that in the uh, ramp map here. Uh, so this one here, we can double click it, and just change that flag to be black, and double click this flag and change that to be black as well. Uh, so there we go, that, that's our that's the, the map we're going to use to put some foam on, and you, I hope you can see it's uh, perhaps a bit more tre tweaking, we get this looking uh, really cool. But uh, we've got um, a, a dense foam, gets less dense, no foam over here. Now to um, control where that's uh, applied on this, um, or how it's mapped onto this uh, ocean plane here, um, in the uh, if we go down here and we, we look at the, um, the interpolation, we're going to change it from linear uh, to, no, sorry, not there, in the gradient type, we're going to change it from linear to mapped. And uh, unique to V-Ray has a, a new uh, texture called the V-Ray Edge Text, and we're going to use that to control how this is applied um, to, to this uh, material, uh, this object here. So we'll click on Map to change the source map from None, and we'll find our V-Ray, find all our V-Ray maps, and we're going to use the uh, V-Ray Edges Text. No, we're not. That's the wrong map. I'm sorry. We're actually going to use the. Um, let me find it here. V-ray distance text. All right. Sorry about that. V-ray distance text. Uh, we do want to discard the old map, which I just chose by mistake. Um, so this distance here, this this value, ten meters. I'm going to change that to um, one and a half between one and a half, two meters, and so what that means is when we when we jump up to this uh, the ramp texture, this distance from here 
to here is basically one and a half meters. So at zero meters you get the, the dense foam, and then the less dense foam over to one and a half meters you get you get no foam at all over here. Um, let's just click in there. Uh, now this to to make this map work, you need to give it some objects. Uh, you, need, you need to tell it which objects um, uh, that the map is measuring the distance from, basically. So we're going to go to Add, and we're going to choose the uh, displaced mesh. We go to Add again, and we're going to choose all of our rocks that we've put in there. Uh, right, let's do a test render, and we'll zoom in fairly close uh, so you can see what's happening. OK, there we go. That's finished rendering. I'm pretty happy with that. You can see the uh, the dense foam we put in there is uh, it's working nicely right, right at the edges uh, and around the rocks. Uh, and then it's becoming a little less dense as it uh, comes out into the um, further away from those. Uh, and um, I, I think it would be uh, it would be quite nice now to to see about putting some real um, textures in there instead of some noise. Perhaps next time I'm at the beach, I'll I'll get the camera out and take some photographs, uh, but I think that's a, a nice, um, that's a, that's a nice uh, overall effect, and I'm happy with that. Um, okay, so that's where I'm going to leave this uh, video now. Um, I think there are still quite a few more things to do on this um, this particular scene, but it's not really. Um, I, I've covered the points I wanted to. Um, so the next stage for this would be. Um, uh, to um, sort of dress it with some trees and bushes and and uh, that sort of thing, and um, I, I've again, if you remember, in the um, the file properties, if I go to summary info, I've left the um, the V-Ray the link for that V-Ray material. I've also put in my um, Blogspot uh, website address there. And um, there's loads and loads of ideas for um, ways of putting trees, um, spreading trees around a scene and bushes, um, which I did, um, well, it was probably last year sometime, but there's not that much on there. I'm sure that would be pretty easy to find. Um, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed all this. I hope you can uh, use some of the things we've done um, on your own projects. I, I hope you have fun um, altering the way I've done it and... Um, coming up with some interesting um, new effects and everything. Uh, so thanks very much for watching this.